Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dave with Nomadic Trail Cams. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, trail cam checkups today in the Hellscott Regional Preserve and Park. And we're starting our first one at the Pine Lily Preserve. And uh, this first one in is uh, about uh, three tenths of a mile. And I think the last time we were here, maybe about two, three weeks ago, and uh, water has gone down a little bit, but I've got the knee-high boots on, just to be on the safe side. And it's a uh, cloudy morning, which is good for walking. It's supposed to be a good chance of rain all week, so. We'll see how that turns out. This trail camera is a uh, Browning, not a Browning, a Moultrie Edge cellular cam. It's been working pretty good. We've been getting notifications and test images daily. We've caught some deer in here, some hawks, and of course raccoons. And our goal today at each of these uh, locations is just to uh, check them out. And uh, we're going to put uh, double batches of deer corn out. Thought we'd do this one because this one's usually the one we hit the last and it's always hot in the afternoon. But it's uh, September 27th, coming up on 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, hardly any wind out. And I was kind of reading the information board. And I'm kind of in the market of a, an e-bike. But uh, one of the restrictions in here is no bicycles. So, strictly a hiking trail. Which is good. But... It, It limits how far I can put out a trail cam to comfortably check it without uh, excessive uh, wear and tear on my body. So let's put you back on the trail here. Back. All right. 
right, we've got our deer corn deployed. And we've checked out our camera here. And the solar panel, everything looks good. So uh, we're going to head back to the car and head to the next one. We did get a uh, test notification when we triggered the uh, camera. So that's working good. The solar panel's been uh, keeping up with the, the uh, camera pretty good. So I'm kind of pleased with that. Most of the ones I've got with the Moultrie Edge are uh, with an exterior 12 volt pack battery pack. So this is a nice simple one. They're all all four of these that I'm going to hit today are fairly simple, easy to get to, which is good. The one I'm dreading is the one that's in the swamp. Uh, it's uh, about one and one and a half miles from the parking lot, and I'm hoping maybe if I can swing and get an e-bike by then uh, it'd make it a little bit easier kind of an investment so I'm kind of weighing my options right now I've got a nice one picked up it's a Jazion EB7 2.0 and it's a folding bike and it should fit in the back of the truck trunk so uh, if I do it that way I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff that I'm carrying as a nomadic person that's probably not gonna be too hard to do All right, well, we're at the uh, Long Branch Trail, and we're going to be checking our other trail camera here. And just checking this one to see, this one says no bikes, bicycles and pets, but they scratched off pets, so you bring pets now. Well, that's weird, you can't bring bikes. I'm not sure what that's gonna do to anything, but... Anyways, it looks like they uh, came through with the lawnmower. Cut down the, uh, at least, on the path. Came through. And Kept it uh, pretty good. You seem pretty well uh, maintained. So this location, we've got to uh, switch out some locks. It's on a, this one has a solar panel. That one's not locked up yet, so I'll put a lock on that. And I've got a skinny. Uh, skinny lock on the camera. I'm going to replace that with uh, a regular. And there's still water in here. So, uh, this location has been pretty good. We've had uh, deer, buck, turkey, hogs coming through on a consistent basis and I think there was even a buck in here 
Oh, right about this time. But uh, we're just a little bit off the driveway parking lot. So we're going to scoot in here. I think I spotted a, a rub. The last time I was in here was the 14th. And today's the 27th. They got a pretty good rain yesterday, or last night. So everything's kind of soggy and wet. Here's another. I don't know if this is the one I saw last time or not, but a little buck rub right there. Had a had a doe and her fawn visit this location pretty regularly, so that means they're probably bedded down close by. Stand here for a second and see if we get a uh, ping. There's our camera, and here's our oh, that uh, thing fell off. All right, let me uh, fix this up and be right back. All right, we got our locks installed and uh, we've checked out everything else. We've got our deer corn put out. So let's head back to the car, go to the next one. Alright guys, we're at our third trail cam location. It's the end of Dallas Boulevard. And this one has been pretty good too, for the most part. It's an area, as you can see, is just uh, surrounded by swamp. So the deer, other ones feel pretty comfortable in here. You can walk through the water and most of the humans will stay out of the swamp or they'll hear them coming. So it's a good, uh, Good refuge place for them. I'm glad I'm doing this now in the morning because they're calling for heavy storms this afternoon. <clears throat> so uh, it will all work out. That last location I was at, there was a, a vehicle coming up that fire lane, and I think it was a uh, either a Texas Parks, not Texas, Florida Parks and Wildlife, uh, cruising the, the right of way there. Not that I'm worried about it, but 
it was kind of weird to see a vehicle coming up that far lane. A little after 11 o'clock in the morning, about 80 degrees. Not too bad, it's getting better and better by the month. You can see little deer, deer prints here. Hopefully they're walking right past my camera. And there's a trail to head straight to the north there that eventually hooks up with my last location but uh, pretty sure that this I don't know if they allow e-bikes here I haven't seen anybody since I've been here but now let's talk about it and there's a bike like so somebody was up here with a bike. But the Hal Scott area that I'm going to next, well actually this is part of it probably, they, I believe they do allow, um, I know I've seen bikes on there, but the thing is, do they allow e-bikes? I think they kind of do. But uh, I want to check that board information board out when I get down with this very last one. So like I say, this one's been pretty good. And there's my camera. So let me put out the corn and uh, be right back with you. All right, check the camera out, everything's okay. There's our uh, 12 volt battery pack on the ground there. And uh, we've got the corn deployed. So let's, uh, let's let the deer come back and start eating again. Let's head back to the car. There's our camera. Let's put the deer corn up and get out of here. All right, we 
we got our deer corn deployed. Water's down a little bit. And there's our camera. We got a test image sent to us. This one's been working pretty good. So let's uh, go back and head back to the car. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up. We uh, visited our four trail cameras in the Hell Scott Regional Preserve and Park. And they're all doing real good. Uh, probably going to be in at least a month before we revisit them. So I wanted to uh, put some corn out and double check to make sure no leaves or anything have grown in front of the camera that would, would uh, produce false triggers. So we're pretty happy with that. Uh, thanks for coming along for the ride and uh, we're going to be going out tomorrow and probably taking down two trail, trail cameras in Leesburg, Florida and uh, also see if we can access a uh, trail. It's probably going to, the gates are going to be closed because I went in it's uh, uh, Hilo Chi, Hilo Chi uh, uh, in Davenport, Florida, and uh, <laughs> I may have, may have made a mistake setting that thing way back there because I drove in there and I, I found a place way at the end of the trail, which was about three and a half miles away. Anyways, uh, the gate's closed now, and I'm trying to figure out when the gate is open, and I think it's just on the weekends to allow uh, people to go in to go fishing on some of the little ponds but uh, I'm not going to be there on a weekend so I'm going to have to um, maybe see if I can get in there at a certain time or get my e-bike because then I can just go in there and, and use the e-bike to travel around. But anyways thanks for stopping and we'll catch you again next time. Adios!